I'm going to be showing um, how you can migrate or transfer your data from a Mac, any Mac, to your new Mac that you purchased. So actually I'm going to show you three ways that you can do. So first one is using Migration Assistant. Um, this is the um, Mac OS um, built-in software that comes with it. And you can do it two ways. You can use a Thunderbolt cable or you could do Wi-Fi, but of course Thunderbolt cable will be faster than Wi-Fi. And then one thing to keep in mind is your target computer has to be the same Mac OS version or higher of your source computer. It can be older Mac OS version than your source computer. And then also make sure your new computer, your target computer, has enough storage. Option two, so this option one will be the um, easy method. Uh, option two is a uh, we're using a third-party software called Carbon Copy Cloner. Um, it is free software. You can use a trial version. And then in order to do that, basically you need to put um, both the computer, your source and target computer has to be a target disk mode. So basically you're going to need a middle computer, your third computer. Your third computer is going to have a um, carbon copy cloner software on it. Put other two computers in target disk mode. You plug it into your third one in the middle. Then uh, you're going to wipe your target computer using this utility. And and then you're gonna um, I can show you more details later on how you set that up for the transfer. You might have a question. So what would be different between the option one and option two method? So option one is just a pure data transfer. It doesn't transfer your OS. Uh, but option two is like you clone in it in 100% exactly as your source computer to your target computer. And then uh, option three is a um, only accessible um, if your computer is, uh, your SSD is removable. Um, I can show you guys how you can do that, but that would definitely need a little bit of work, like unscrewing your computer. You need a little bit of tools and definitely need to buy uh, some tools for that if you don't have them. Um, this method you use uh, especially when your laptop is no longer turn on or your um, just booting up issue or anything like that you can remove your SSD if it is an older version um, if it is not then I can show you um, another version you can transfer is it for the touch ID uh, touch bar computer which is 26 and 2017 there's a um, tool called Migration Tool that you can purchase online and then transfer that as well if your computer decided to die on you, okay? Alright, so I'm going to show you the option one right now, so let's get into it. Alright, before we get started, um, these are the two cables that you're going to need for your transfer if you decide to do the cable. Um, so on the left side, Thunderbolt 2 cable, uh, if you're going to be using for Thunderbolt 2 port to Thunderbolt 2 computer. Uh, if not, you can use adapter in the middle. And then Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 3 uh, cable is just for the um, computer that is uh, USB port only available. And just a quick tip, uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable is going to look exactly the same port as USB-C. However, if you look at the, um, the head of the cable, you're going to see a Thunderbolt symbol. Uh, that means for Thunderbolt 3. So if you use a USB-C, which is only for the charging, it does not do your data transfer. Alright, this is one way that um, you can start the Migration Assistant. So make sure you uh, start up the Migration Assistant software on source and target computer. Or you can set up your source computer into target disk mode. In order to get to your target disk mode, uh, you press down T key while turning on the Mac and then you connect it to your target computer and continue from there all right so on the source computer what you want to do is uh, type in migration assistant on the spotlight then you're gonna go ahead and click continue and then um, go ahead and include, enter your password Then 
then you're gonna select uh, to another Mac. Continue and make sure you connect it to power. So we're gonna continue on the new computer. So to go through the setup, click continue. And then what you wanna do is on your target computer, you wanna make sure you select the top one from a Mac. Continue. Then you're gonna see your hard drive from your source computer which we put in the target this month as you can see the target symbol on the left side is doing it click continue it's gonna take a few seconds and then you're gonna get to the screen you click continue and then in here instead of a password anything you like and you're gonna click continue and then there you have it so basically depending on how much data you have it's going to take an hour or up to two three four hours okay all right let me show you how you can get a carbon copy cloner software uh, go to Safari Type in carbon copy cloner. Then the first one, click that. Download, trial. And click open. Move to application folder. software you have and then what you want to do is you put a target disk mode on the other two computer you have and then you drag it into source computer and destination then click clone that's it and I'll show you in details in a bit so right now what I like to do is I would like to target this mode and then plug it into this computer the target computer first because I don't like to make a mistake where you plug in both together and you don't know which drive to delete. So I plug in the target computer first. As you can see, it shows the Macintosh here. You're gonna go to this utility and then you're gonna go ahead and select the Macintosh. Once you get a new computer, it's barely gonna have any storage because just the OS on it. And go ahead and click erase and erase. Cool. So once it's done, you're gonna go and exit this out and simply drag this into uh, destination. And then now what you wanna do is uh, plug in the uh, source computer and then drag it into the source computer, then click clone. And that's it, simple. And I just plug in my source computer, as you can see, it has C2 drive. So what you wanna do is you go ahead and bring it to, um, uh, oh, do it with one hand, okay. There you go. So as you can see, this computer shows that I'm using 424 U's. Now I'm going to uh, transfer into which is empty drive and simply click clone there you have it that's it that is option two now all you need to do is just wait once it's done it's gonna say it's done so that was option one option two migration method um, i'm going to create a option three uh, method in a separate video so it doesn't get confused too much information in this video so i'm gonna leave the um uh, link in the description. So um, see you in the next video. Thank you